Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will construct a fractional flow curve and we will use relative permeability curve. So fractional flow is a very useful analysis, for example, to predict the water cut using the water saturation information. Okay, and first we will check the relative permeability. We get the information for the relative permeability from the special core analysis okay we perform the the measurement and then we extract or we get the data for the relative permeability curve okay for example here in uh, in our case we have the core with sample id of x just for example and the core was taken from sample depth at this 3000 foot or 3000 feet and the permeability to air of that core is 2800 millidarcies with porosity of 30 percent so it's quite good and the initial water saturation for example 14.04 okay and the effective permeability to oil is 1950 again millidarcies okay and this is at initial water saturation okay and of course the main course the data is the relative permeability table. In this case, we already have the data. We have three columns. The first column is the water saturation. So the Conat water saturation is 14%. And the highest water saturation is, in this case, 62.59%. And on the middle column, we have the relative permeability to water in fraction. So of course, at the Conat water saturation, there is no water flow. So the relative permeability to water is zero. And in this case, at the highest water saturation value, the, the maximum or the highest, the, the endpoint water relative permeability is 0 0.3393. And on the last column, we have relative permeability to oil. And at critical or at Conat water saturation, the relative permeability to oil is at the highest. This is the endpoint relative permeability to oil. This is the maximum and the value is one. So it's quite good for the oil. And at the highest water saturation, the relative permeability to oil is very small. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so from this table, of course, we can construct the relative permeability curve very easy. So I plot that on the horizontal axis, we have water saturation. And on the vertical axis, we have both relative permeability curves. So let me just modify a little bit. I want the maximum value to be 1, okay, because relative permeability, the maximum is, of course, 1. And this one is for relative permeability to water. I colored it blue. Okay, so good. And this one, relative permeability to oil. Okay, let me change the color to green. I love it to be green. Okay. And also for the fill. Okay, good. And then, yes, we want to check the lesion. So it's like this. Okay, so this is the relative permeability curve. So from the relative permeability curve, we now go to proceed to construct a fractional flow. But before that, I want to just show you the basic. Okay, 